Hello cousins, it's Kemi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be testing out a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics. e.l.f. Cosmetics is obviously not new to our channel, we've got a bit some bobs from them that we would love. So I thought today would be a good chance for us to test out a full face just using e.l.f. products. If you guys are interested in how we got this look and some of the e.l.f. products that I picked up in today's video, then please keep on watching. Hi, welcome. I know this video was meant to come out on Monday. It is now Tuesday. I'm feeling a little bit sick, so that's why I couldn't record yesterday. Even this morning I tried to record, but I just felt a bit under the weather. So that's why this video is not coming out on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, your girl's been a little bit, a little bit sick. Not, not a lot, but just a little bit sick. This needs to go, like, this is not, this is not me. This is not my vibe. Anywho, L. Oh God. I have actually got this delivered to me for about a week, a week and a half now, because I have been waiting for e.l.f. to drop the camo powders that they have been releasing in the US. I thought it would be on the UK website as well, but it isn't. I'm literally checking on there right now. It is not on there. Right now they are promoting the Cookies and Creams collection. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that, babes. We're just gonna have to do a full face of e.l.f. and when that powder drops to the UK babes, I'll test out for you guys. That looks really good and I really want to try it out. I feel like it's gonna be like a Fenty dupe, which is kind of cool. Okay, so now you guys are nicely zoomed in. I might insert some clips from earlier on just because I've done like my skin prep. Of course, Kemi being Kemi has forgotten that she got some products that she wanted to try out for you guys and gone in and done her normal routine. Okay, so these three products I won't be able to try out in today's video just because I have gone in and done the steps forgetting that I had this product. So it is the e.l.f. Minty Fresh Cooling Cleanser and I got the e.l.f. Super Toner and the Holy Grail Hydration Daily Cleanser as well. I believe all these products were gifted because if you spend a certain amount on their website, they give you like free products, which is like pretty nice of them. Like they didn't have to do that, but I feel like that's a really good marketing strategy because it's just really cute to have, you know, gifted stuff for spending your money. Because <laughs> if I like this product, I'm gonna go and buy the full bottles. So yeah, any, so I wanna start off using this e.l.f. skin um, holy hydration hydrogel moisturizer. Just gonna grab a few pumps of that. This is what it looks like. Just gonna start it into my skin. By the way, I have gone in and you know prep my skin, done my normal steps that I normally do. It's just that my skin just looks a lot more drier today than any other day. It's a little bit weird to me, but hey, this moisturizer feels really nice. Oh, I like, and it smells good as well. It smells like a clean, fresh moisturizer. Yeah, it smells nice. And all skin type can use this because it's for dry, oily, and combination skin. And it says this gel cream plumps and hydrate the skin. Definitely feels a lot more plumped and a lot more hydrated. We like. I'm now gonna go in and prime my skin using the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. Everyone has been hyping up this primer, comparing it to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, saying that it's like, the exact same thing, but like for the fraction of the price. I do have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, but I haven't used it, so I can't really tell you guys if it's a dupe or not. It's just sitting there with a bunch of new makeup that I've bought. Ooh, warm it up with my fingers. Ooh, tacky. Bear in mind, like I said, I have not used the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, so this is my first time using any sort of gripping primer. Yeah, it's just thick. Oh, wow. Oh, it's very tacky. That feels really nice. I still feel the same way as I did earlier on. Still like this primer, but obviously I can't really tell you much until I have my foundation and stuff on top of it. That way I can really get the feel of the primer. So next is obviously foundation, and I was planning to try out this e.l.f. Camo CC Cream cream because they said that it's not foundation so as you guys can see none of the shades matches me <laughs> um i don't know how is this possible like how can i be so off with my shades i'm telling you guys i'm really bad at picking foundations alike it's just way too light i'm trying to see right now if i can like finesse the shade but it's just way too actually hold on what's the blender out Mm. I just tried the shade Rich 620 and it doesn't look bad but 
I'm not confident enough with that shade. So I'm gonna go in with the L Flawless Finish Foundation. I have the shade Nutmeg and Mocha. And I mix the two shades together because I feel like Nutmeg is a little bit too light. And I feel like Mocha is a little bit too dark. So this is where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, that looks a little bit more promising. Yeah. Girl, you looking better than the photos. Need more. Ooh, that looks nice. And so guys, I don't like mixing foundations but if i like the finish of a foundation i don't mind um but it's a lot bit annoying to be mixing foundation all the time because that means that you know you're spending more money you know getting two shades but until you know the brands start getting it right which is obviously unfair to us and our wallets <laughs> um we're just gonna have to you know either go with brands that you know cater to our skin tone or make the right shades for us or just spend it's not really much of an option but you know i don't know if, the, if it's the primer but the finish on this foundation right now is given i've been eating a lot of takeouts lately and i've got this three spots on my forehead which means i need to stop eating takeouts this is an oil free satin finish foundation but it's giving me very much matte next we're gonna move on to concealer and the concealer i'm gonna be using today is the l 16 hour camo concealer but this time i'm gonna shave deep chestnut and deep olive to like lighten up the center of my face but i feel like it might be a little bit too yellow so i'm gonna go in with deep chestnut we love this concealer over here okay so that concealer is looking a little bit too light i'm just gonna warm it up with another product real quick i'm really feeling unwell guys i just feel very light headed for some reason so just bear with me guys so i'm watching you in slow mo Obviously, this Elf Camo Concealer is nothing new to us. We absolutely love this concealer on this channel. It is so full coverage and it is so affordable as well. Look at the coverage on this baby. Like, what? Absolutely. Easy schedule, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, I love. Look at me getting excited now. Do we feel like we need a little bit of the deep olive? Should we? Let's just try it for shits and gigs. Let's try a little bit out. That looks like a good shade, actually. Ooh. It's given very much, you know, any girl Ford shade. Yeah. It's given that vibe. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. It's given a little bit green, but it's okay. Because, obviously, the undertone is olive. So, that explains that. But, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I can get down with that. Okay. When I saw this product online immediately i had to add it to my basket like immediately like it was always gonna be my basket it was always gonna get used so this is the elf putty bronzer and i got this shade sun kissed cousins look at this chocolateness look at this chocolateness are you guys get into it i just want this on my face right now we love this is what you call the perfect bronzer for a dark skin chocolate babe don't mind my edges because my boogie is left in but we're gonna fix that at the end but look at this beauty like it's given chocolate like real chocolate real true tone chocolate vibe it is the perfect shade for me this is honestly so beautiful gorgeous gorgeous babes this is what you need you need her if you are my shade get the shade sun kissed yeah sun kissed get it right now i also picked up the elf putty blush in the shade maldives i actually have this red one that doesn't have a name that i have been loving for the, like the longest time now i've got this deeper red shade which i think is going to look so good on my skin tone as well the elf putty line just works like they just work really really good okay let me start setting before things start creasing up on me did you guys know that i love the elf sheer tint finishing powder i used to use the shade medium light for my under eye to set my highlighted areas that one broke and i haven't went back and got another one yet so i wanted to pick up another one but i made a mistake because i actually got the shade light fair which is like super light yeah she's super super light so i can't use her so i'm just going to quickly go in and set my highlighted areas but what i am going to use is the elf matte setting powder and this is in the shade medium oh ooh, oh i like that when you run the products it comes out when you don't want the products you could just lock it away 
That is genius. I do like the shade on this. So it's not too yellow and it's not white either. Yeah, that looks really nice. Now I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder, but this time in the shade Medium Dark. Ooh. I wanted to use it as my face powder, but it's looking a little bit light. Let me just try it out, because you never know. Yeah, no, let's not do that. For I said it, I am gonna be using this e.l.f. Opposite Attract palette. It looks super gorgeous. I'm gonna start off using Warm, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna grab it into my crease and then work it upwards. So I am gonna deepen up my crease, but I wanna go something a little lighter. That's blending out really beautifully, oh my gosh. And I'm literally working it into my transition area as well. That like right underneath my brow bone. And then we're just gonna deepen up with smooth right here. It's like a cool tone brown. I'm just gonna work that right into the crease. I must say these shadows are blending out really nicely. There is fallout in the pan, but there isn't any on my face, which is really good. I'm just gonna grab my finger and grab Darling, which is like a nice skin tone like champagne y shimmer shade. We're just gonna tap that. That looks beautiful. By the way, I have not wet the shimmer shade. I'm going straight in with my fingers and then going straight onto my eyes. That is stunning. Let me try using a brush. Let's see if there's any difference. Picks up really well on the brush. Wow. I'm gonna grab Warm. I'm just gonna use that to blend out smooth and darling. Is it darling or daring? I was saying darling, the shade is called daring. My dyslexic is showing itself, isn't it? Ooh. I picked up this liquid glitter eyeshadow as well. Should we use her as well? I forgot that I ordered this. This is in a shade Copper Pop. I'm gonna grab Genuine, which is the black in this palette. That is really pigmented. I'm just gonna do like a wing. So now I'm just gonna grab this purple shade called Easy Going. By the way, this look isn't a look. I'm just using as much shade as I can. Cause I feel like I don't explore all the shades properly. I'm trying to use as much colors as I can. All the shadows are honestly going on so beautifully. I do like, I'm just gonna go back in with the black. I'm just gonna go in and just dust off this excess powder off my face now. Cause I feel like it has been setting for a while and it is a matte powder. My skin has been super dry today so I don't really wanna keep it on my face for too long. I'm just gonna literally go in now and just apply my mascara and eyelashes. Obviously they're not from e.l.f. So I'm just gonna really do this. Oh, you guys can't really see the purple but we know it's there, so it's fine. So let's, you know, go in and bronze the skin. I did pick up a face bronzer, but it's looking quite orange. I think I might use her as a blush. Let's try it out. Is it showing up? I can't really tell. I'm gonna go in and quickly bronze. Next for blush, I picked up this primer infused blush in the shade Always Punchy. It's a really pink blush. I don't know if it's gonna suit me. It's a lot lighter than the blushes that I normally go for, but I wanted to try it out. Yeah, it's a little bit too light for my skin tone. Okay, so for setting spray today, I picked up this Elf Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. Honestly, it's the blue light that got me to get this. And then lastly, we've got lips, and I'm gonna be using this Elf Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Mocha Twist Mocha. You guys already know that I love this lip gloss. It's a really nice lip gloss. All right, cousin, so this is the end of today's video. What do you guys think about this products that we use in today's video? Are you an e.l.f. lover? Do you like e.l.f.? I do want to say that all of e.l.f. products are cruelty-free and vegan as well. Well, majority of the stuff that I got anyway were, if not all of them. Shopping online is always a hassle for me because of, you know, picking the right shades. So because of that, I couldn't try out some of the products in today's video, such as the e.l.f. camo cream foundations i want to say the foundations but they're cc creams hopefully when i go in store 
I'm able to get my right shades and I will try and redo this video for you guys. My absolute favorites from today's video is one, the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Absolutely stunning, like my makeup looks flawless. Could be because of the products themselves, which are flawless, <laughs> but definitely this primer is a must have. Absolutely love the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This beauty right here. She is a gorgeous, gorgeous babe and a must have if you're my complexion or any complexion actually just grab one that is suited to your skin tone love the moisturizer as well because i did go with a lot of matte products in today's video but my skin doesn't look overly matte it looks like a nice healthy balance definitely the primer and the moisturizer definitely help my skin in keeping its moisture and not being overly too dry right now. The concealers are absolutely nothing new to us. You guys already know that we love an e.l.f. camo concealer on this channel. The hydrating one and the matte one. I absolutely love both of them. The putty blush as well is something that I already love. I feel like all the putty line from e.l.f. are really good. The putty line and the camo line are chef kiss even this eyeshadow palette as well the eyeshadow palette blended out so beautifully like you guys saw in the video the shadows were blending out really nicely and they were merging together chef kiss i pretty much loved everything that i got in today's video obviously the products that i couldn't use were down to me picking the wrong shades not down to the product itself and i believe that is pretty much everything thank you cousins so much for watching i love and appreciate you guys so much let me know your thoughts about elf cosmetics down below do you like the product is there stuff that i missed out into this video that you want me to try out hopefully the camera powder comes in stock into the uk soon and that way i can test that out for you guys as well but currently right now as i am speaking it is not on the uk elf website once it's available in the uk i will go and purchase it and we can review it together thank you cousins so much for watching i love and appreciate you guys so much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah.